Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Welcome to today's video, which is a demo for the Danny Sound Multimode Ladder Filter. You might have already seen my build video of it. Now we're going to get noisy with it. So basically, we have the Electrosmith Analog VCO, the sine wave of which is going through my Fold 6 folder. That's going into one channel of the Mix 3 audio mixer. And then I have the saw wave going to another channel and the square wave or pulse wave going into the third channel. And this mix is going into the multimode filter. This is the saw wave. Now listen how it overdrives, right? You can drive that input. Sounds really nice. And notice how even with the resonance pretty high, you don't lose low end, which is what would normally happen with a Moog style ladder filter. But this circuit has compensation for that. So even at high resonance, you don't lose the chunky bass. You just get the added whistling there. Really nice. Let's connect the keyboard. There we go. So this is low pass with just the saw wave. Overdriving the input. Let's add some resonance here. Make the envelope a little bit snappier. space. Listen to that bass. resonance here. Hope I don't get sued by Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Alright, let's bring the, the gain down a little bit. See, see how different that sounds? When I drive it, the resonance becomes less prominent. signal becomes distorted, saturated, and louder than that resonance. Why don't we play a little sequence here? So I can play around with the filter and not have to play the keyboard. Let's just play around a little bit then, hear a little sound. Still low pass here. No VCA. Bring up the resonance. own attenuator, right? Oh, this one's a little bit nicer. Now let's change the uh, 
saw wave for square wave. Bring that resonance down a little bit. And make it square, right? Put it right in the middle of the pulse width here. Nice. Now I'm going to use that second input here with my joystick. I'm just going to grab the, the x-axis of the first channel of the joystick and throw it in here. And then I'm going to record. going there super nice it's already one of my favorite filters I like how together with the envelope it's smaller than most filters <laughs> This has been just low pass, right? Let's go to band pass a little bit. Now we'll turn off we'll turn off the envelope. resonance Let's bring up the resonance Let's bring up that envelope a little bit that input. Let's change this for saw again. This is nice. And here's high pass. Let's turn off the modulation, just do it by hand. So this is pretty much just the full wave. Right? The saw here. Here's a square. Here's a blend of both. A little bit of that folder too. Filter out all those lows. Cool. Bring in some resonance here. Let's, let's make this a little lower. So we can really feel it. Right, it's all dead now. Have to actually play a high frequency to hear it. Very nice high pass filter. Back to the low pass.
out the resonance CV. I'm gonna grab another output of the joystick here. Another x-axis. Channel 2. So now I can program in a little movement there. that now. There we go. We can bring it down a little bit so it doesn't quite chirp so much. It's subtle right now. Let's make the envelope a little longer. square wave here now remember since we're overdriving that input now the resonance isn't so see isn't so prevalent but when we turn it down then we can hear really hear that chirping and the resonance goes high I really like it with the input overdriven, it sounds amazing. Very moogie, I must say. It does sound like a moog filter. Except without the loss of low end. Alright, that's it for this video, I think. Unless you want to see some audio rate modulation, I guess that could be that could be arranged quickly. I'll just set my contour one here to audio rate and to loop, and we'll take that output. Straight up LFO. Nice too. Yeah, I mean, I could just do this all day. You get the idea. It's a really sweet selling filter. Thanks, Tong, for sponsoring the video. And uh, see you soon. Stay noisy.